Welcome to some new r slash malicious compliance stories, where people comply to the letter, but not the spirit of a request. I hope you had a great day. Thanks for all the likes and comments on the last video. If you would like to support this channel, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you enjoy the content. And now let's start with the first story. It's called Let Me Finish. I work as tech support for helping some tax accountants. Basically, I do the general stuff, like printers not working, phones not ringing, internet exploding or computer freezing, etc. But I don't do the tax stuff, as I don't know taxes and we have a separate department for that. Things like, the program is calculating my income tax wrong, is not me. Even if the tax pro feels 100% sure they did everything right and it's for sure the computer has an error, we still need them to swing by the support team who does tech stuff. They need to get their stamp of approval that it is a technical issue before we assist. Now, I'm ad-libbing nonsense tech jargon, so the details are wrong, but it's basically how the call sounded to me. Hello, thank you for contacting. And I get interrupted. Yeah, hi. So listen, I've got a 1040G DX9 error on the i99G form, but it's calculating Louisiana tax instead of Ohio. And the diagnostic error says that Sorry ma'am, I think you. Sir, please, let me finish. So, the diagnostic error says that Louisiana cannot claim that many dependents without an F14G. But I have the F14G attached. But it thinks it's an F15G, even though the claims DX4 has it under the second page of the 13% claim. And, ma'am, sorry to interrupt, but... Sir, please, I'm in a hurry here. Please don't interrupt. She then proceeded to talk about more text jargon for what felt like 5 straight minutes. Then, when she was finally done, I just waited silently. Ok, I'm done. What do I need to do? You need to call the correct department, because this is a problem with the tech software and I'm your general tech guy for printers and computers and stuff. What? So I have to repeat all that again? Why didn't you stop me? I tried. Twice. You yelled at me not to interrupt. Twice. So I didn't. She just huffed loudly and hung up. Best call ever. The next story is called Talk to the Manager. I own an auto detailing business. During the height of 2020, I lost maybe 5% of my business as it's mostly high-end cars owned by the semi-wealthy, or better yet, their kids. Anyhow, I have two employees. One is the supervisor and the other is a trainee. I still work 90% of the jobs to assist as they are both still in training. I had a new customer a year or so ago who wasn't happy and demanded of me to see the manager. I call over the supervisor who proceeds to tell her exactly what I told her. She shrieked, asking, why are you just repeating your employee? He just says, ma'am, that's the owner, he's my boss. She got mad that I passed her off to someone lower than myself. So I just said, you wanted to see the manager and he's the one in charge of the trainee when I'm not here. So he's the closest thing to our manager. That ended it pretty quickly. The last story is called Uniform Compliance. I used to work as a pastry chef for a catering company in Siberia. It had a very outdated provincial charm, like almost anything in Siberia. But that doesn't mean that my boss didn't sometimes desperately try to up his game and be modern and experimental. No, not with the food. At some point he figured that it would be a good idea to send some chefs to the events and let them plate the food they made in front of the customers for entertainment. He also wanted to incorporate plating gimmicks that had to be made on the spot, so he needed us chefs there, not just servers. This meant that he introduced new uniforms that are supposed to be more elegant looking for customer events. When he got the new uniforms, he gave them out to the chefs who were meant to go to the events and be seen by customers, and I was one of them. Don't get me wrong, I love doing the catering at weddings and so on, cause you can witness all the family drama without having to worry about your family or feeling embarrassed for anyone. It's like watching trash TV in real life. But the thing is, I am very tall and very thin and alter all my uniforms to make them fit me better. My boss came and gave me the uniform. I asked if I should try it on and he said no time for that, just try it on at home and wear it to the event. He said he gave me the biggest size, so it has to fit. I could already see that the chef pants had a thin material and the legs were super wide but didn't look that long. I asked my boss if I could alter them to fit better and he got mad and said it's company property and I can't alter them cause someone else has to wear them. 
I go home, and lo and behold, the pants are so wide they will barely stay on my body, but end way above the ankles, and the chef jacket is also too short. I figured that I could use a safety pin to make the elastic waistband a bit tighter, and then pull the pants up to my belly button. Then the chef jacket will cover everything, apart from a part of my heavily tattooed lower arms. Ok, maybe I can wrap a towel, and no one will notice. And for my legs, maybe I can wear boots that are a bit high. Cause since we are not actually really cooking or in the kitchen, I may not have to wear safety shoes. The next day at work, we prepare the van for the location. My boss won't join, so before we go, I tell him about my plan to make the uniform work for me. To be fair, my boss is stressed, cause as always, everything was an uncoordinated mess. He just started yelling at me that safety pins damage the fabric and it's a safety hazard and that I have to wear safety shoes. And that this is professional chef attire and we should all look the same cause we appear as a brand and it's not about my fashion choices. Ok fine, I'll comply. I go to the event and put on my new uniform in the changing room. The chef jacket sleeves and in the middle of my forearms. It does not cover my belly cause the pants sit dangerously low on my hips because that's the furthest point they can slide down to. Basically, I look like a mixture between a chef and an early 2000s pop star with their low rise jeans. I look like I was one wrong move away from accidentally flashing someone. And for my legs? I decided that I can cover my legs by wearing Christmas stockings. Yes, very obnoxious ones with grinning Santa and ornaments and whatnot. They were sticking out from my safety shoes. The boss didn't say anything about socks, so I guess it's fine. I go out and do the job, but I'm kind of preoccupied with keeping my pants where they are meant to be. And guess what? Guess actually complained about how I was dressed. The next day, after the event, my boss surely heard about it. He called me over and got mad at me for not dressing how he told me to. I said, but I did. You wanted me to wear the uniform that does not fit at all and you didn't want me to do anything about it. He said, I want you to figure out a way to wear the uniform without chewing your belly or without damaging the uniform. Ok, say no more. What if I just wore one leg of the pants like a skirt? I can tie the other leg around me and it would cover my belly and not damage the pants. So that's what I did at the next event. Did I have much leg room to move in? No. I walked up and down the display in tiny steps, like some cartoon grandma. Of course my boss wasn't happy with that either. He was super mad at me, but I kept saying, give me a solution then, and he just couldn't give me one. He was super annoyed and told me that it's not hard to figure this out. I said, I'm a chef and not a fashion designer. And if it's not hard to figure out, then give me a solution, because I did what I could. And if you don't want me to do what I can, then tell me what to do about it. He yelled at me that I should know what's appropriate and what isn't, and I shouldn't play dumb. So I said, maybe I am actually dumb though, and left. Just so you know, I was not scared of getting fired, cause I was confident in the work that I was doing, and my boss would have been insane to fire me over a uniform when we were already understaffed. So it was just satisfying that he had to put up with my stupidity regarding that. But honestly, what could I have done? If it doesn't fit, then it doesn't fit. I ended up being allowed to alter it, but only to make the waistband smaller without cutting it by sewing a loop together. As for the chef jacket, they got me a bigger one, which wasn't the same brand as the others and had a different button color, but they made me change the buttons. And with that, we end today's video. Let me know what you think about the stories. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the stories and today's video? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and want to support me, please subscribe and hit the like button. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Bye bye.